arts festival is about, you know, fun actually. <laughs> it's about promoting cycling and um, mixing, you know, together arts and cycling, which is something quite unusual. And uh, just about um, exploring, you know, and celebrating the bicycle culture in Cork. And by the way, for all of you, if you see in a city nice women, well dressed, on a bicycle, going to the opera or to their work, then you know life is good in that city. As you all know, the world is changing fast, extremely fast. And uh, that is partly because uh, the price in oil is going up so, so, so steep all of a sudden. Noise and sleeping disorders. In the Netherlands, you will never find a sign, bike path, end. You will never reach the end of cycle paths in the Netherlands. Because it's a network. And a network means you always can go on and on and on. You need a network. You need that here as well. <laughs> postponed about having a bike again but it's a wake-up call to uh, now that I've come here and seen how many organizations that are about here in Cork and the um, and the attraction of cycling again which I find I'm very impressed with that because the traffic has trebled and it looks awfully dangerous and that's what's been putting me off cycling again so what does cycling in Cork mean to you? Uh, freedom. Um, it's just a sort of celebration of cycling, really, um, uh, and also it's kind of—it's sort of like, in some ways, it's kind of a demand for safer cycling as well, because it is very dangerous cycling in Cork. Even in Cork. In Cork, especially, it's very dangerous. There's hardly any cycle lanes, and cars don't really pay any attention to it. So, yeah. It's called a cyclosonic experience. This is the little flyer that you can pick up when you come to watch it and it's designed or it was made using um, special microphones on my ears called binaural microphones and they just picked up the sounds as my ears heard them and then I, I had a, a great plan initially but I had to uh, cut it down because I had to fund it myself so um, it's just a journey of cycling and I love singing while cycling and it's my perception and all the sounds that you can hear in your environment and rather than uh, ignoring them, embracing them and... Da -da -di -da -di. And it's based on different issues. It was my final year piece from university and it's just based on different theorists like the situationists in the 50s from France who invented uh, psychogeography and the derive and an, an idea of taking you on a journey and the feeling of being taken on one rather than going on it yourself being different and In other countries, which have cycled in France particularly, they're very aware of cyclists and motorists will give you a good way. In Ireland, they don't. They're not cycle aware themselves. They haven't cycled themselves really, so they don't have an awareness. I want to ask you how it feels to be a cyclist in Cork. How does it feel? Uh, it feels exciting. 
uh, I suppose uh, you're looking around uh, for everything. You're looking in front of you, you're looking kind of sideways, both sides, you're looking behind you, you're watching cars, lorries, pedestrians, uh, you're watching potholes. Uh, so you have to keep quite aware the whole time. Um, but it's a great feeling. Uh, you get a great sense of freedom, you get a sense of speed, uh, which you don't get in a car because you're sitting in the car mostly. Anyway. Cycling campaign, um, what we try to do is we engage with uh, the city, the city council, we discuss proposals, road proposals, green routes, uh, we talk also make submissions to the county, make submissions to the Department of Transport on various uh, issues. We help organise events like uh, the cycling festival and the rebel pedal parade and we speak to other cycling campaigns uh, in, in the country uh, to strengthen our voice uh, to, to um, uh, be representative uh, to the uh, to the government so there's a wider a wider picture um, well, one of the fellows as well that I've mentioned here was captain Mackey which is he got involved and he, there was a sort of a tower down on the island of, of Cork and he attacked the tower and basically stole all the arms and the guns and the, whatever it was. But uh, this is a song that, uh, it's a Cork song about uh, the Lee and about the, the Fenians leaving the Lee. And uh, I'll just sing a couple of verses if you, if you don't mind. It's, uh, it's, um, it's a beautiful song, um, but we probably haven't time for all of it. Like so. On the 6th of March in 63, we sailed from Queenstown Cay, that's Cork Cove by the way. A gallant band of Fenian men, bound for America. When travelling with this band of men, as you will plainly see, we were forced to go via sweet chloro, down there in Slowly Lee. But uh, this is the coal key anyway, this is where there'll be a lot of, uh, it's a lot of carry on down here selling stuff. And um, so, as I was going up the coal key for to buy an old chemise, the first thing I picked up in my hand was found it full of fleas. How much is it you want for that, don't think, 80 cents is I. 80 pence for that, don't think, they think I am a fool. Oh, kitty falalapalalapalai, kitty falalapalai, do, kitty falalapalalapalai, me wax but all the I do. <laughs> so I brought it home and I washed it, and I hung it out to dry. How much did it you give for that, don't think, 80 pence is I. 80 pence for that, don't think, you think I am a fool. <laughs> <laughs>